Good morning, this is Patrick McCullough, forecaster here at the National Weather Service office in San Angelo. Look at the upcoming forecast across West Central Texas. This briefing is being updated early Sunday morning. We've got a, a tale of two seasons across West Central Texas upcoming this week. But to, to start things off today, at least, we're looking at uh, mild conditions for, uh, for today, Sunday afternoon. Heading to the upper 60s and lower 70s for highs. In fact, I think by the time we get into Monday, Ahead of a weak cold front, we'll be looking at temperatures well up into the uh, low, uh, upper 70s and lower 80s across much of the area. But that cold front moving across the area will set the stage for a, a chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area for a Monday evening as a weak upper level storm system pushes across the area as well. Again, the best chance is probably across the eastern big country into the uh, heartland, Abilene down toward Coleman and Broadwood. Few of these storms could be uh, could be strong, maybe some small hail and some um, dangerous lightning, some gusty winds with them. Uh, but it looks like a fairly quick moving system, and this system will be out of the area by uh, later on during the day on Monday. After that, uh, we're looking for a much stronger Arctic cold front to move into the area for uh, late Tuesday afternoon into overnight Tuesday night across much of the area. I think by Wednesday morning. Well, most areas will be waking up uh, much colder and uh, some gusty north winds across the area. In fact, I think uh, high temperatures on Wednesday may be first thing in the morning with temperatures falling into the uh, 20s and some uh, 30s across most of the area by Wednesday afternoon. I think by Wednesday afternoon as well into Wednesday night and uh, Thursday, looking at at least some uh, chance for some light wintry mix across the area, some uh, rain, freezing rain, maybe some light sleet across the area. Again, right now it's looking like uh, precipitation will be fairly light. Um, and not to be, um, you know, accumulations will be light enough that uh, travel impacts will be uh, minimal. But this is certainly something we're going to have to keep a very close eye on as we head uh, through, um, through the rest of the week. It doesn't take much ice to create some real problems on bridges and overpasses, maybe even some uh, roadways uh, by the time we get into uh, temperatures down in the low to mid-20s in some areas. So something we'll be keeping a very close eye on as we head through the remainder of the week. Thank you, and we'll continue to keep you updated.